sunset this morning. I have learned some very not positive or exciting or motivating news this morning. In my last episode here, episode three, I shared with you guys that I had shared my weight with the diet vet and I had weighed in at 156 pounds and I stepped on the scale many times to take those pictures, uh, to send in so they would, you know, validate me to be a player and I have eaten well, I have not over snacked, I have tracked everything, I have been diligently good. The one thing I didn't think about doing is a term I've never heard until today, and it's called calibrate, calibrating your scale. Didn't know that until this morning when I stepped on the scale, and it's only a few days into this competition. I didn't even expect the scale to go down, but I did not expect it to go from 156 to 162. I have not gained six pounds in 48 hours. That is not possible. So I looked into it and everybody on Google, every, every website I pulled up was like, yeah, calibrate. You have to calibrate your scale when you move it. I did not know this. I have a digital scale. I did move it to take those pictures because it was in the corner of my bathroom and I could not see in a single picture what I needed to see. And now I'm gonna have to move it again because I put it in the corner to calibrate it. Oh, this is so discouraging and I hate this so much. I wouldn't be this upset. Oh, it's crooked. I'm sorry you've been watching a crooked video. I wouldn't have been this upset had it been 162 from the beginning and I just accepted, hey, this is where it fell. You ate garbage for the last five months. This is what you did for yourself. But to have it say 156, and I'm in the diet bet at 156, you can't go back and change anything. So here we are, 156, or sorry, 162, apparently six pounds more, which means I have to lose 12 pounds in one month to win this diet bet, which I don't think is A, possible, or B, healthy in any way, shape, or form. So I either give up now, or I just see how much I can lose and how close I got while still losing. Cause it's not, oh, you did very well. You got halfway, you get half your money. It's, and it's really not about money, but it's either all or nothing. And I am just so upset. I stood on the scale this morning at least seven different times. I moved it around the bathroom more before learning about calibrating. I moved it into one corner and I stood on it a couple times like it told me to. And to make sure it was correct, I took 18 pounds worth of weights and I put them on the scale. And it weighed in at 18.6. So hopefully that means it's now calibrated and I'm not really sure if it is going to stay calibrated or if I should just go ahead and order a new one. This scale is about six years old. I just don't know and I'm just feeling unmotivated and sad right now. I'm also on my way to school. The Easter break is over. Today is a Tuesday, so it's a very rough day. These days are not easy in any sense of the term. I am a music teacher and today is my longest day with my youngest bands. So imagine walking into a classroom as the teacher with 50 kids, all brand new to playing an instrument, all playing their new instrument at the same time. It's just as magic as I'm saying it is, but I can focus on the positives. Let's do three positives. One, I have packed my lunch, so I'm not going to be eating school lunch. Two, I made my own cold brew coffee, no cream, no sugar. Three, I am going to be intermittent fasting. I will eat my first meal today at 11.30 a.m., which is my lunch break anyway, so really it's just black coffee for breakfast. That is totally fine, that will get me through the day. And we'll do fourth one just for good measure. I am going to hit my 12,500 step mark. I have promised myself that. Um, as it is my busiest day and I had to teach VIP kit this morning, I did not get up to work out, which also did not help on the unmotivating scale. But I will at least, at the very least, get my 12,500 steps in today make sure I'll do trips back and forth to the teacher's lounge if I have to. My goal is to try to get three to five hundred steps an hour and then over the course of the day that will add up 
then there are periods where I'm chasing around kindergartners and I'll get a little bit more. Or I have lunch duty. I definitely get about 2,000 steps in a 25 minute period because lunch duty is just walking around. Oh, what a fun ride to school it is today. But on the plus side, I think we're getting close to less than 30 days till the end of the school year, which is fabulous. I am about to hit like the peak of busyness this spring. It'll start the first week of May when my band and choir concert happens. Spring concerts that have to happen for grandparents and Catholic feast days and my musical day and different. There's just a bunch of different events happening. I mean, the names won't mean anything to you guys, but just know that between now and May 24th is basically a sprint. So. If I can't control anything else, I can at least control what goes in my mouth. I can keep it healthy. I can eat less processed foods. Definitely staying away from the Starbucks drinks. Definitely staying away from those. I've cut out alcohol. I just, I'm taking a deep breath now. Whew, I'm saying it is what it is. I can sit here and sulk about it, but sulking's not gonna change the scale. What is going to change the scale is going to be moving, eating healthy, getting things done. By the way, I do have no excuse to be upset about driving. This video has been playing for seven minutes and I'm already at school and I started right outside my driveway. Seven minute ride to school. And people look so excited to be here. So that's it. There you have it. Broke my scale. Added six pounds to this challenge. Great. Just great. Well, this was a short and very bittersweet episode, but it is what it is. We're gonna keep it real like we did last time. I'm going to take in my things to school, get my badge on so I can get in the building. I'm gonna to try to get 1,200 steps before we let the kids in the building in approximately 15 minutes, so a quarter of an hour. I will go, get things taken care of, get things started, and here goes nothing. I will see you guys. In my next episode, I don't even know what we're going to call it. I didn't have this one planned. I just turned on the camera when I got in the car and said, hey, bad morning. Make it an episode. Why not? Here's to another week, a four-day week. And then next week is my last and final five-day week of the year because there's always something happening every week until the end of the school year. Here we go. Here's to today. I'm going to fake it. I'm going to fake it till I make it, guys.